welcome back to Coogan's Critters. Today, we will be talking about livestock production. What is livestock? Is it stock that's alive? While that may seem like a reasonable definition, livestock is actually farm animals that are regarded as an asset and used for pleasure. For example, beef cattle is a livestock because we use it for beef. Livestock includes cattle, pigs, sheep, horses, goats, and many more. In our video on dairy production, we discuss cows quite a bit, so let's start out with them. Cows are stocky with a straight snout. Their color and other traits will depend on the breed. A female cow is called a heifer, a male cow is called a bull, and a young cow is a calf. Cows are used mainly for beef and dairy. Pigs are round with erect ears, a straight or curly tail, and have other characteristics that vary among breeds. They are used mainly for meat, but their skin, fat, and other body parts can be put to use. Male pigs are called boars, females are called sows, and pig babies are called piglets, or less commonly, shoats. Sheep are stocky with short tails and wool. A female sheep is called an ewe, males are called rams, and babies are named lambs. Sheep are mainly harnessed for their meat and wool. Horses used for leisure purposes and occasionally meat, have tails and a coat of which the thickness may change based on the season. Male horses are called stallions with male babies called colts. Female horses are called mares with female babies called fillies. And all horse babies can be called foals. Goats have beards and most often horns. They are used for their meat, skin, and milk. Female goats are called does or nannies. Male goats are called bucks or billies, and goat children are called kids. Most livestock's color and certain other features depend on the specific breed. This is much like your hair color. For example, you may have blonde hair, but your friend has red hair, even though you are both of the same species. All livestock should be properly fed and their nutrition taken care of. Livestock nutrition should involve sufficient intake of amino acids, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals for the animal's health and your success. See more on this on our Animal Welfare and the Ethical Treatment of Animals video. Livestock meat is also graded. Beef is graded off of yield, amount of usable meat, and quality, flavor, taste, etc. Veal and calf is graded from prime, good flavorable meat, down to choice, good, standard, and finally utility. Lamb is graded by prime and choice, what you would find in retail, down to good utility and coal. Pork is not graded by the USDA. Poultry is graded by A, B, and C, with A being the highest quality and C being the lowest. In addition to grades, meat is cut differently, examples being flank steak, filet, tenderloin, chuck steak, etc. You may see examples of different cuts if you were to look at the menu of a steakhouse. At said steakhouse, you may wonder how so much meat is able to be produced in such good quality as well. Livestock reproduce sexually, and many farmers employ selective breeding. Selective breeding, or artificial selection, involves choosing animals with beneficial characteristics and then breeding those animals. This is a form of biotechnology. Biotechnology in livestock is a mixed bag. On the one hand, it can help breed livestock more efficiently and with better quality. On the other hand, it could be considered unnatural, which could lead to a decrease in business. See more on ethics and agriculture with our animal welfare and ethical treatment of animals. That's all for today. Check out our latest video and don't forget to hit the like button.